Hey, what's up, guys? I, like many people, I have purchased this uh, Forbidden World Steelbook from Screen Factory. I have never seen the film. It's a Roger Corman film, and I believe it's something that Screen Factory has released in the past, or Shot Factory has released in the past. I'm not really sure which one of those is true. Back in the 2012 or something like that, I don't know. <clears throat> Who cares? But I bought the Steelbook because I felt like it, I guess. The it cover art was funny. I don't know. I've heard the film's pretty good, but I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about it besides the fact that it's Roger Corman and it's kind of a schlocky film, like a monster film or like a space film or, but that's it, that's the extent of my knowledge about it, so. It's from 1982. Um, what am I doing? Actually, let me get this uh, wrap off of it because it's all glary and I can't read very well with the glare. It is Saturday. I just did my Vice Squad one my unboxing. I'm doing these other night. I got um, Galaxy of Terror I'm going to do after this too. There's a couple more things I was looking forward to getting this weekend that I haven't. So I guess I'll have to see what happens. But I got one more thing coming. Or actually, two more things coming. But what do you care if you're only interested in this one? There's just one little dot there. That's cool, I guess. Actually. So there's the disc. Forbidden World. And there's like that, whatever the hell that thing is. What the fuck is that thing? I don't know. Like a sandworm? Welcome to the Garden of Eden. We play God here. Interesting. And there's the art that's on the poster right there. Which I haven't put a single one of those posters up because it's an odd size. It's like 28 by 18 or something like that. And they do not make frames for those. So you have to, like, you know, get them custom framed. And that's obviously going to be very expensive for each one. So I haven't done a single one. Maybe someday. I've got like 10 of them now? Shit. Way too many. Anyway, and I think it's black there. Yeah, it's blank. Typical. So that's cool. Let me take a look at... Actually, I didn't take a look. Here it is, but there's no dents on this. There shouldn't be any dents on these because they were already packaged. Excuse me. I didn't see any. I mean, it's a very glossy steelbook. I think all of these Screen Factory ones are glossy. I, do, I don't mind the artwork there. It, looks, it, look, it reminds me of Star Wars from looking at this. Like the sand? I don't know. What the fuck am I talking about? But for my first thought is Star Wars, and that's obviously not true, because that doesn't make any sense. Maybe, a, like, it's called Spaceballs or something, I don't know. Forbidden World. Hmm. Steelbook looks like it's clean. Uh, let's see. The seed is planted, the nightmare grows. On planet Zarbia, an experimental life form known as Subject 20 has been created by an elite group of scientists in hopes of preventing a major galactic food crisis. However, instead of prolonging life, Subject 20 is destroying it, and the organism poses a double threat because it constantly changes its genetic structure. Mike Colby, a bounty hunter, is called in to investigate. Suspecting that the scientists are keeping something from him, Colby soon discovers why. Ooh, really? I kind of like that synopsis. I feel like I've never read that, actually. I think I bought this whole thing without any pretense at all. I like, didn't read anything. Um, there's a new 4K scan of the original film elements, theatrical cut, and a new 2K scan of the only existing film print, director's cut. Oh, cool. Hmm. So there's two cuts of the film, and they both have new scans, although only one is 4K. Uh, Making of Forbidden World. So these are probably all ones that were on the previous um, shot release. Uh, interview with the director, editor, Alan Holzman. Holzman, special effects director, all that stuff, yeah. Interview with producer Roger Corman. Interview with special effects artist John Car Carl Buechler. Audio commentary by Alan Holzman. Uh, theater trailers and photo galleries, the usual stuff. So that's cool. Who's even in this film? Starring Jesse Vint, Don Dunlop, June Chadwick. Like nobody. In fact, I think I'm thinking of Galaxy of Terror. Galaxy of Terror, I think Robert England's in it, but I've never heard of anybody in this. And, uh,. See, the theatrical trail of a cut of the film is around 77 minutes, and the director's cut is 82 minutes. That's a whole five minutes difference, which is not insignificant. Very cool. I'm actually intrigued now. Like, I, I, I kind of got this on a lark because I'm buying a lot of the steel books, or most of them anyway, and now I'm kind of intrigued. I want to watch it. I'm sure it's not great. I probably would have heard more about it if it was considered really good, but um, that's cool. Should I open this up? I remember I said that in the Vice Squad one, but it's like, you know... These are even harder to open because they're so thick. That's what she said. So um, I guess I don't know. I'll even get this off of here. I don't know. 
Should I? It's gonna be a bitch. As you can see, these ones are a lot thicker because it's lithograph paper. And um, I really want to keep this uh, slider thing to hold it together. Almost. Hold on. Not like I'm even gonna be able to show you very well. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> I do like the color scheme on this. Like a desert orange and red. And yellows. Shit, okay, hold on. This is gonna go flying. <laughs> okay. I don't see any dings or anything, other than, other than the usual, like for posters in a tube. But no rips or tears or anything like that. Like I said before, that used to happen. So this is cool. I do kind of like that artwork, too. I don't know. Giant spider monster thing. <clears throat> so well, uh, I guess this is out of Whoa. <laughs> All right. That's it, guys. Boom. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I've got another one to unbox your Galaxy of Terror. So I'll do that next. But, um. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Uh, Roger Corman's schlocky film. It sounds interesting. It's like a cool sci fi film. But, uh. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later. I got more stuff to unbox, more friggin' crazy steel books to open this week, and um, it's gonna be fun. So I will talk to you later. Bye.